What is up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or of course, welcome if you are new. If you are new, my name is Finn, it is so lovely to meet you and I hope you are doing really, really well. In today's video, as you guys can see by the title, we are doing a full face of new to me products. These aren't brand new releases, they're not new collaborations or collections, but they're products that have interested me for a little while. I went shopping yesterday and I picked up a couple of extra bits. Basically, I need a good old makeup declutter and I was looking for my foundations last week when I filmed my first video back after my three months off and um, I realised all of my foundations are massively out of date so I went out and got a new foundation I thought Do you know what while I'm here let's just pick up a couple of other things and we'll do a full face so most of these products are from the brand Makeup Revolution I'm sure you've probably heard of them if not where have you been? <laughs> So that is what we're doing today. Um, really quickly before we get into this video, I have changed my lighting a tiny bit. Please let me know if you think it's any better or if you think it's worse because I am struggling now. I'm so struggling. Back when I was in the old house, I could have two box lights, my ring light, and now I'm just like, I, I don't know what to do anymore. If this is shit, let me know. Again, if it's all right, let me know. Without further ado, let's get straight on into today's video. So the first thing I'm going to be going in with is the um, XX Revolution Glow Skin Foundation. My camera really does not like this packaging, so I'm just going to show you from here. But this is the box that it comes in. It is meant to be a very, very glowy, dewy foundation. I didn't actually buy this from Makeup Revolution. So they still sell it. It's about £15 for a bottle, which I think is pretty good for a bottle of this size. Um, but I actually paid £6.99 and I got mine from Beauty Outlet. I do think the packaging is really, really pretty. It's just glass packaging, pink lid, XX at the bottom and then another XX on the top. What shade are you? I got mine in the shade FX2 and I'll be honest, that's mainly because when Makeup Revolution started doing foundation, um, my shade was F2 so I'm really hoping it's something similar. I do think this is really nice, considering it was £7, I do think that's very like bougie. So I'm going to take a couple of pumps of this and just go to town. It does smell very nice. I probably could have done with a shade darker. But oh well, let's make it work. That has already beaten my W7 Legend Long Wear Lasting. The same outcome, I think you get the same kind of outcome with it, but this feels so much lighter on your face. I didn't actually realise how heavy the um, the W7 one must have felt because this honestly feels so lightweight. I honestly really, really like that. I'm really impressed with that. £7, even for £15, I think that's a really good little bargain because that looks pretty much flawless. Really happy with that. I'm just going to disappear really quickly and I'm going to pop on some blush and some powder and I'll be right back. So far that is what my base looks like. All I've done is a little bit of blush, a little bit of bronzer, um, some powder and some spray just to kind of set the base before we carry on with the rest. But so far that is what we're looking like and no word of a lie that is probably now my favourite foundation. It's my only foundation at the minute because everything else is out of date. It is 100% up there with some of the best foundations I've ever tried. I really really like that. So moving on we're going to be moving on to eyes because I always do my highlight last. So eyes I have a couple of products that are new. Um, actually one was a birthday present from last year that I've not even tried yet because I just haven't had the time but um, thank you Gemma for this. I really really like it. <laughs> So I've swatched it, but I haven't actually used it. Apologies for my pronunciation, but this, I think, is the Revolution Lenkalu range. Um, and this is the eyeshadow palette in Sublime Paradise. She did come out with two. They came out of a whole collection. And I have got the second one in the other room. But this is one we're going to be diving into today, hopefully. Here is the colour story. I really, really like this little palette. It's very, very neutral, but you do have the pop of colour. And you do have a couple of decent shimmers. So... 
I think we could probably make a pretty decent look out of this, fingers crossed. So my idea at the moment is I want to go in with the shade Luck all over as a transition shade. I'm going to pop some Strength and some Rise in my outer corner. I'm going to blend it up into my brow bone with the shade Quiet Space. And then I want to pop on a shimmer of some discretion. Not sure if I'll go pink or with the growth yet, but one way or another we will see. So let's grab that Luck shade and pop that all over my lid. Jesus, yeah, that is really pigmented. Look how that's picked up on the brush. So far, there is only a teeny tiny bit of fallout. So, I am not upset considering the pigment payoff. That is what we're looking like at the moment with just the matte shades. I'm now gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade Growth, which is this gorgeous goldy color here. Firstly, let's see if it works with a brush and that is gonna be a massive no. No, there is no pigment picking up on that. But this shimmer shade is really, really sheer. It's not like a foil, it's more like a topper. It's really pretty, really pretty, it's just sheer. Now for my under eye, I'm gonna go back in with the dark brown shade Rise and then I'm gonna blend it out into one of the orange tones. Okay, that's what we're looking like at the moment. Again, I'm no professional makeup artist, so please be kind. But I'm just going to go and take this eye. I'm going to cut it and copy it onto this one. And I'll be right back for the last couple of products. All right, guys, I'm back. That is what I look like after completing the second eye. A little bit of trickiness with the yellow. However, that is not a case of just this palette. I do think that yellows in general are really tricky for makeup companies to get right. Um, they either don't layer or they patch, etc. I do genuinely like the little palette. It is cute and I do think it stands on its own so I can use this travelling. You can just throw this in. You can make a look on its own. And it has got the cute little nudes. I wish that the shimmers were more shimmery. But other than that, for a topper, I don't own any toppers. So it's nice to have an eyeshadow topper. So that is what the eyes look like. Please be kind. I am not a makeup artist. I learned this stuff in my free time. But um, yeah, I do really, really like it. It's very, very natural and nudey, but still out there. So yeah, nice. <laughs> Moving on to my favourite part of my makeup look, which as you guys know, if you are not new, is my highlight. Beauty Outlet delivered the sales. So for highlight, I picked up this Makeup Obsession palette. It is called So Lit, as you can see. Now Makeup Obsession, I think it started off as the kind of a cheaper, younger brand by uh, Revolution Beauty, um, but it has definitely evolved now into something a bit more. To be honest, I don't understand all the different brands. I, I really wish they would just have it under one brand because it's so much easier. But anyway, this is what the palette looks like from the front and then from the back. And then on the inside, we are greeted with nine different highlighter shades. They are all very, very different. We have a couple of goldy ones, some pinky tones, some rose gold, and some darker shades as well for darker skin complexion. Let's try this. I do love a good highlighter, so I hope that these work nicely. At the moment, my favourite one is the Benefit Cookie, which I've been using religiously since Christmas. This palette with the nine in it only retailed for £6, so I thought that was really, really good. So hopefully it works. Let's go in with the shade Molten, which is this kind of gold tone here, and I might mix it with a little bit of Drama, which is more of a pink. The only thing is I don't want it to be like glitter. There's a very fine line between highlighter and glitter. And I do feel like that is leaning on the glitter side. It's very natural, isn't it? Yeah, I don't feel like that's given me an awful lot. I have nothing on that side and still have a bit of a glow. And that side has highlight and it's not that much different. These shades don't deliver much individually. But I've started just taking a section and just zhuzhing my brush and that seems to have actually worked because this side is much nicer than that side. I know Makeup Revolution do amazing highlighters and other palettes, this just isn't really 
working for me. It's more like glitter, less like highlight. It is very, very natural and I do like it. I will continue to use it, but it just isn't quite my favourite. My favourite is definitely still that Benefit one. I like it, but it's more glitter than highlight in my personal opinion. Lastly, I don't really have many lip products. I've got one and it's not even really a makeup product. It's more of a kind of self-care product. But we have the Technique Summer Vibes Lip Oil. It's in the shade Cosmopolitan. I won't lie, I tried this last night and it feels amazing. And I'm certain I paid £2.50 for this. You can get some amazing bargains if you just look. Um, you don't need to spend a fortune on products. So I did used to have the Clarins lip oil. Again, I really, really liked it, but I only had a sample size because um, it came free with something else. But I didn't want to spend 20, 30 pounds to get another lip oil for two pounds. That's brilliant. I really like that. And there we go, guys. That is the end of today's video and using all of these new products. I know there really wasn't an awful lot to this video, but I desperately wanted to try out the eyeshadow palette and the new foundation. So I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. Um, let me know what your thoughts are on all of the products used. I do like reading your comments and... If you have any brands or other bits and bobs that you want me to try, just let me know. I'm always up for trying what you guys want. That's the main point of this. Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching this YouTube video. It's honestly beyond appreciated. I massively, massively appreciate your time. If you did enjoy this video, please consider hitting that sub button and the bell notification. And if you really, really enjoyed the video, please consider hitting that like button. It helps me beyond words um with growing this channel so thank you so much in advance um and that is it stay safe guys have a fantastic day wherever you are in the world and i cannot wait to see you in my next youtube video until then love you bye